you believe that Mina's leaving this up to us? This is very intricate. So the question is at this point, are we going all the way up to the ceiling, I'm assuming? Yeah. So today we have some really cool backsplash tile going in at Talbot. It's marble, it's intricate, it's gorgeous. And it goes all the way to the ceiling. Yeah, I love how we throw it to the ceiling. And that's right in front of the front door. Like you're gonna open it up and you're gonna see that. Pow! Pow! Right in the kisser. There we go. It's looking good. Here, look it off. It's like a, it's like a big batter spin. Yeah. All right, we ready? Right. More butter, more better. You buttering it up? I'm a professional butter. And it's just like putting butter on bread. You yeah. Just, the cement is your butter, and the wall is your bread. And you lay it on thick, and you slap that tile on it. The tile would be like the eggs you put on top of the toast, butter, and then you make like, you put the eggs on top, and then you have like a little sandwich. A little sandwich. Half sandwich. A little sandwich. Look at that, dude. This what? is gonna go to the ceiling. This yeah. is gonna be magnificent. No, this gets me really- Majestic. This gets me really jazzed up. All right, let's keep buttering and- Yeah. And uh, pressing here. Oh, it's so good. How far this kitchen space has come compared to what it was. Yeah, it was a charred mess. Charred mess, wet mess. And now it's like shiny, chic, elegant, graceful, majestic. Mm. I was gonna say more, but I just lost the words in my own imagery I created. Mm. We're in the home stretch over on Talbot Street. Our large hexagonal porcelain tile is going up in the master bath. It's really sleek and modern, but also has sort of an old school elegance about it. Drop it down a little bit. Yeah, use, use those quads. And today, mom and the boys are bringing back the beautiful Victorian style fireplace mantle we salvaged. We had to get rid of the original fireplace when we tore down the walls to make an open concept living space. But adding this mantle to the dining area will create a really beautiful focal point. It just needs a little bit of sprucing up. Come on, Toto Baggins. Hey, while you guys are doing that, is there like a rag I can just generally wipe vacuum. dust off with? Vacuum. Vacuum. All right, Corey, you, vacuum. you got, I got that? this. I got this. All right, muscles. Nice. Just get one layer of dust off, right? Yeah. We rub it with the soap, and then we wipe it off with a wet rag, and then we wipe it off with a clean rag. And then we repeat, if it needs repeating. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like exfoliation. Yeah, it really, it's like, yeah, it's, yeah. To my point. Oh my God. This is just fantastic. We gotta live and breathe this, Corey. You gotta bring this back to life. Awesome. Ta da! Stand it up and see if we did it right. Yeah. Okay, let's lift your end up a little bit. Ready, lift. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. You know what? If that's not perfect, no one's ever gonna know. Do you hear? The angels are singing. They are, they're singing. Because that gorgeous fireplace mantle is back in the house where it belongs. It's almost like we know what we're doing. Yay! Let's uh, let's go ahead and finish her off. Huzzah! Whoa. Check out these chunky monkeys. Wow. Good selection on your behalf. Now my goal is for these to support this Overhang. Stuff. I would have to say that this is a step in the right direction. Perfect. We're down to the final touches at our Talbot Street house. MJ and Corey are installing legs that will support the Kitchen Island countertop and also play to our modern Victorian theme. We're gonna paint them dark gray to contrast with the light gray wood flooring. Look at these bad boys. That looks amazing. Meanwhile, all of our furniture has arrived, so now we can get the house ready to show. What was once a burned out disaster is now a beautiful modern Victorian style home. Baby, we, can let our down. <laughs> we brought in a combination of Victorian inspired and modern pieces to make the house feel elegant, but also fresh and young. I love that we're pairing the antique desk with a modern black leather sofa. It's a way to pay homage to the original house while showcasing the new renovation. Tomorrow is our first showing. We have a young mom and her two daughters who are looking to move closer to downtown. So we're really anxious to see what they think of our modern Victorian theme.
ladies are the cutest <laughs> ever. Look at those smiles. My name is Brooke, and these are my daughters, Sydney and Sloan. And today we're looking for a house. So what, so do, you what do you think? I like it. It's gorgeous. Outside, the general shape of the house is the same. The big wraparound porch, the roof lines. It is the original posts, which is kind of nice. We were able to keep some of those, but new railing, siding, windows, roof, and then obviously the landscaping. It's gorgeous. <laughs> do you guys want to go inside? Yes. yes. Okay. I like the door. Come on in. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Oh my god. This is gorgeous. Wow, I love the colors. It's very different than it was when we got it. You couldn't see anything, it was very dark because of so many walls. It was really kind of hard to tell what was what because there was closed off wall here, closed off wall there. There's a couple pieces in here we did end up keeping. There had been a fire here before we bought this property, but we were able to save and restore this beautiful old fireplace mantle to preserve some of the home's history. What kind of wood I do you like think it is? Art. It is oak. I could have stripped all the finish off of it, mm -hmm. but I just didn't want to. You know, oh, you can see that though. she's lived, but she doesn't look haggard. No, no, not at all. It really is nice. One of the other really, really cool things that we didn't even find it during demo, we found it later, is this pocket door. It was framed back into the wall, but this one was absolutely perfect, and, and we just huge. left it the way it was. And it still has the original latch. So come on into our study. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. How cool is that chair? That's like a baby chair. I think it's like a turtle. When you sit in it and you talk, can sit it, in it if you it want. Kind of echoes. I can. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys look adorable in that chair. You guys couldn't be any cuter. So we set this up as a study, but it's technically the third bedroom. You've got the closet, you've got windows for egress. Other than that, it really didn't change a ton. I can see this being my bedroom. But you have the humongous door, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> you like the pocket door, Sydney? You want the pocket door? The pocket door is Maybe pretty cool. Maybe you can flip cool. a coin for it. Do you ladies do a lot of cooking? Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna go check out the kitchen. <gasps> da, da, da! Whoa! I hear the <gasps> behind me, which is very exciting. <laughs>